How to create a modern looking chart here in Excel. This is what you're going to learn in today's video. So why? Why should you not use the standard version of chart in Excel? And why should you create a chart by yourself? Because look, Excel has, if you click here, insert, Excel has a bunch of charts to choose, okay? There's a bunch of charts, but so why? Why? need I to create a modern looking chart because look if you're gonna make a presentation you're gonna make a dashboard you're gonna make a report a professional spreadsheet why not create a modern looking chart because it's more it's hold attention you know it's more pleasure to look so let's create step by step from scratch a beautiful and modern looking Excel chart. The first thing you're gonna do here is just clicking this little button here, new sheet, okay? Now, if this blank uh, workspace, I'm gonna make the first step I need to do, okay? The first step I need is to have some data, okay? This, this is the first step. You need to have some data to create whatever chart you're gonna create. So I just gonna select uh, these columns here. I'm gonna press Ctrl C to cope. And in the new spreadsheet, I just gonna control V. Uh, you can use the data you want. This is just an example. I have here the data and the sales. Now I just need to select the first column and then the second column that I'm gonna use in my chart, okay? So I'm gonna select the first column here, click, hold and drag to the end. And to select the second column, I'm gonna press the control button, okay, control. And then I'm gonna click, hold and drag to the end. Okay. Now I'm gonna click here, insert, and then I'm gonna choose the chart I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna click in here, insert line or area chart, because in this video, in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to make an area chart. I'm just gonna select this option here, okay, area. Click and... Okay, now our chart is already in the screen. I can move, I can resize the chart, just click in the corner, okay, click, hold and drag, and I can change the, the size of the chart. I just need to click, hold and drag these little circles here in whatever direction you want, okay? So I'm just gonna resize like this, okay, this is good. One simple step I always like to do when I am creating chart in Excel is to delete title, okay? I select the title, I delete this, these numbers here, okay, these vertical values, I just click delete this line in the background I select and delete okay now I have a more a more clean chart look I also need to select the area of the chart and click here format and then shape fill no fill shape outline no outline okay this is gonna make my chart look transparent uh, there's no background look now I'm gonna click here insert illustrations shapes and I'm gonna add the background of the chart, the black background. Uh, I'm gonna select this rectangle, rounded corners. I click, okay, I'm gonna make this bigger. You can make this rectangle more round or more sharp. I'm gonna just let it be a little bit more sharp, like this. Yes, it's good. And now I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna click, for example, here, shape format, shape outline, no outline shape effects shadow and i'm gonna select this first option here and shape fill i'm gonna use gradient or gradients i'm gonna make a, a good looking background so for example i'm gonna select the gradient fill and i'm gonna I just uh, gonna delete these stops here okay i'm gonna delete one i'm gonna take this in the, the middle just gonna put it in the left and this that is in the middle I'm just gonna put it in the fifth percent position okay right in the middle this one in the middle I'm gonna I'm gonna change the color to black and the one in the left I'm gonna make it a little bit more black lighter 25 percent and in the right corner same color okay the angle I just gonna use 60% okay and it is gonna look like this and I know what you think uh, our background is hiding our chart okay our chart is behind the background so what can I do is just select the background I gonna uh, just gonna click here in shape format send backward and okay look now I have the chart in front of the background I just gonna select the background here. I just gonna resize. Now it's good. 
I'm gonna select the chart, I'm gonna resize to, okay, it's good that way, yes, okay. Now I have a little bit more space to put the title here. The next step I need to do here is just to double click in the chart area and then I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna select this color option here, gradient fill, and I'm gonna choose, for example, uh, I'm gonna use just two gradient stops. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this in the middle. This in the left side, I just gonna color if a uh, light blue, and this in the right, I just gonna color if a uh, dark blue. Now I just gonna adjust the angle. I'm gonna put it in 90. 90. Okay, it's good. It's look more like a gradient. Okay, it's more it's more beautiful to look. Now I want to add this yellow line in my chart, okay? So I'm gonna select the second column here, Ctrl C, select the chart, Ctrl V. Okay, I know that that is not a yellow chart, but I'm gonna click with the right click and then change series chart type. Now the orange sales here, I'm gonna change area to line. It's gonna look like this, and now I yes, I, I can color the orange line by yellow. Okay, I just gonna double click in the line. If this format data series here, I can select the fill and line. Uh, I'm gonna select gradient line, and I'm gonna select a yellow, this first one for example, okay? Uh, or even I can change some something here. Gradient stop, I'm just gonna use two. I make this stop here in the left, and this I'm gonna put all the way to the right. This all the way to, to the right, I'm gonna change the color to, uh, let's say this yellow here. And this in the left, I'm gonna use a more, a more yellow one, okay? So yeah, it's good, looking good. And something that I need to do here is just to, with, I'm gonna put in 3.25, and I'm gonna select this is very very important. I'm gonna select this option here, smooth this line. Okay. Now what you need to do is just put these values of the sales here above the line, because this way I know how much it's sales is. So I'm gonna select just the line, and I'm gonna click here in chart design, add chart element, uh, data labels. I'm gonna select above. Okay. Now I can see. It's a little difficult to see, it's a little hard to see, but I can see there is a 141 sales here. I'm gonna click just in the numbers, in these values, I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna put it in bold, I'm gonna change the color to white, it's more easier to, to see the numbers now. I'm gonna make the same thing, these numbers below, on, bold, white, okay, now it's looking good. Uh, yes, the last step I can do here is just to add the title. I'm gonna make this icon here and I make the title. So I'm gonna click here, insert illustrations icons. Okay, now it's very important. If you, your Excel version, for whatever reason, do not have these icons, maybe you cannot use the icons, okay? So you can select insert illustrations pictures this device. This way you can insert a picture from your computer. But I'm gonna use icons. There's a bunch of icons here, okay? Do not waste too much time. I'm just gonna select this one here. I click in the checkbox, okay? And then I'm gonna click insert. Now with this icon here, i just gonna move to the left corner here. i just gonna make it a little bit smaller, like this, okay? I'm gonna change the color, I'm gonna put a uh, white color, I'm gonna click home, and I'm gonna change the color to white. Okay, now it's good. And to add the, the title, I'm gonna click insert, and then text, text box. I'm gonna put the text box here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna write something like uh, sales, for example. April. Okay, it's good. Simple, but it's good. I'm gonna select all this text here. I'm gonna increase the size, put in bold, and change the color to right. I want to let the background uh, transparent, so I'm just gonna click in shape format, shape view, no view, shape outline, no outline. Okay, guys, so this is our chart here in Excel. I hope 
this video can help you make a beautiful and modern looking chart in Excel and help you with your presentations, your dashboards. And if you have any question, just comment below that I'm gonna help you. And I see you in the next video, okay?